Good morning, my friends. It's time for our daily check-in with spirit. Welcome if you're new. Welcome if you're returning. The way this works is these messages are timeless. You hear them when you need to hear them. Um, these messages are meant for certain people at certain times on certain days. Spirit gives me these messages and I give them to you because I'm one of the mouthpieces of spirit. And I do so love my job. So let's go ahead and start here this morning. I've got some friends here in the barn that I need to check on before I go into work. And they uh, tend to be early risers. So let's go ahead and start. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, friends on the other side, for clear and distinct messages here today with love and light. All right, starting to get the messages downloaded here, guys. Just going to start sifting through, interpreting it. Okay, so the first thing that you need to know, guys, is that you are being helped out by the angels of the four directions. Okay, the archangels are present in your life. Gabriel, Uriel, Michael, Raphael. Those angels are guarding you. They are guiding you into the healing light for your life. And that light is so needed right now. So needed. You're kind of in this stuck energy where you can't go forward. You can't go back. You're just sitting there going, well, hell, what do I do now? I'm being told that in order to get what you want, you need to go out and have some fun, some good, joyous fun, okay? Now, I'm also being shown the picture of a man standing there underneath a beam of light on a road, and there's like sparkles all around him, right? And he's holding a bouquet of roses. I don't know who this man is. Um, and I'm not going to say fully it is a man because in today's society, gender is, you know, it's fluid. And I get that 100%. But my friends are showing me this man and it's a loving man and he's, he's happy to see you. And he helps keep you on the honoring path. He shows you love and adoration. You feel truly inspired and beautiful. Like, you know, you're on the red carpet and you're about to be given one hell of an award for what you've done. I'm also being told, my friends, that guard your emotions. Because for whatever reason right now, in regards to this, the situation requires emotional maturity and total trust. You see, you're surrounded by those who have only the best of intentions for you, whether you realize it or not. You can rely on the advice that you're given. Challenges will be resolved. I'm being told that once you're on the honoring path, everything will be fine. But you have to clean up your life. 
Get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganized. People who take from you but don't give back should also be released as well. Become wise, insightful, and caring. Or maybe there's someone who is this around you. I'm not sure. Maybe it's that man I spoke of earlier, the loving man. But they've got a really good sense of humor. And they offer a lot of life experience. Listen to it because it's important. You see, your passions will lead you to your divine life purpose. Do what you love. And have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or learning, or meeting up. Okay, I I'm being shown a school, guys. So learn, meet with others of like minds in regards to this. Just allow your creativity to soar and you are going to experience things that you really, really want. Whoever it is, it's got love coming. Congratulations. You are going to be so happy. I think that's why I was saying that gentleman earlier with the roses. All because you allow yourself to start having more fun. But I'm being shown that there's two people embracing here. And I'm told that a relationship grows closer as two people fall in love. And that relationship grows stronger. I don't know if it's a friendship because I'm seeing two people hugging guys. Okay. Friends hug all the time. I hug my friends. You hug your friends, right? Could be more. I think it actually might be more, but I will let you know that friendships are going to grow. They're going to deepen, especially around spiritual connections. Mutual respect and understanding exist. And if they don't exist now, it's going to develop very, very quickly without you even having to try. I'm being told to tell you, don't give up on a relationship that feels challenging to you. There's still hope. The angels want you to know that not only is there hope, but it's there for you. There are great rewards in spending time alone. Use those moments of solitude to focus on love and ways in which you might give to those around you. Shine your light as an example for others to follow. Maybe you should seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if your life feels unfulfilled right now. Which I'm thinking it kind of might, given the way the rest of this message is. But look, when you're brave, Authentic and true. Desire and passion will come and find you. When you show empathy for others' needs and introspection for what you need, all will become clear and all will become true. This is the angel's message here today for you. I'm told to tell you to follow the honoring path. Filled with light and love. Love for self. Love for others. 
love for animals, love for the planet. Don't take shit. Stand up for you. Enforce those healthy boundaries. But at the same time, always with love. All right, guys, that's what my friends on the other side are saying here. So I hope that you have a fantastic day. I'm going to go check on my friends here in the barn because I hear them moving around in there. And like I said, they're early risers. Maybe I'll go talk to Sophie the chicken later. She's got some interesting advice at times. Oh, yes, she does. Remember, you get what everybody else gets. You get a wife. Make it the most magical one possible. Go in peace and progress. Love and light. Ember out. <laughs>